In this video, we'll go over creating a content type and adding fields in the web app. A content type is the structure or container for a piece of content, and it's made up of fields. Before we go into building a content type, let's look at the simple content model we designed for our Jumpstart shop. We're going to build the product content type that has the following seven fields, internal name, title, slug, categories, description, price, and image. Let's go into the web app. Start by clicking on the content model tab, followed by the button that says, design your content model. This might look a bit different in your space if you've already created content types. There are a few required fields that we will fill out. Let's give it a name. We'll call it product. And as we start typing, the API identifier Will automatically generate from the name field. You can change this field manually if you'd like. We'll skip on the description, which is optional, and then click Create. Next, we'll create a couple fields by clicking on the Add Field button. These are all of the field types we have available. We'll start with creating a text field for our internal name. Click on Text, and in the new Short Text Field window, Name the field internal name. Be aware that these initial settings can't be changed later, so it's important to fill these out carefully. Click Create. Then we'll do the same with Title. Click again on Add Field, select Text, name it Title, and this time we'll click on Create and Configure. In the Settings window, We'll check the box to make this field represent the entry title, thereby making that title the official name of the product. Then, under Validations, we'll check the boxes for Required Field and Unique Field. We don't want the content authors to accidentally add products with the same title. Click Confirm. Let's add the slug field. To do that, we'll create another short text field give it the name slug, and click Create. Next, we'll add the description field. Select Add Field and choose the rich text field type. Then click Create and Configure. Under the rich text settings, you can enable and disable formatting options. In our case, to keep it simple, we'll remove all formatting options and click Confirm. Then we'll add categories. This is our reference field meaning that this field serves as a link between content. A product will always be linked to this category. In Contentful, we call these references. For our Categories field, we'll select Many References, because a product can belong to many categories. Then click Create. Our next field will be the Number field for Price. We'll select Decimal and click Create. And finally, we'll add an image field. Click Add Field, and then Media. We'll just allow one image for now, and click Create. Once your fields are created, you can rearrange the order by dragging and dropping. The last step is to click Save, and now you've successfully created your content type.